So over on my letterbox account, my goal this year is to review a movie a day. And so far I have been able to do that. Here are some of the most recent watches that I've had to let you know if I like the movie or not. I was able to see Snack Shack a couple weeks early thanks to Paramount, and I enjoyed this movie quite a bit. I'm a big sucker for coming of age movies, and this one definitely fits the bill. Here's my letterbox review. I gave it a three and a half out of five. This one is on par with like the Edge of 17's way, way back, spectacular nows of the world. Again, I, I love this genre. This one fits the bill. It's a little bit more raunchy, so I, I am always a fan of that. I was also able to see Knox Goes Away a little bit early as well. This movie is starring and directed by Michael Keaton. I always love it when actors go behind the camera and put their expertise behind the lens as well. I gave this one a three out of five, a pretty solid film here. I'm not gonna give a lot away and I'm not gonna give away some of the celebrities that pop up in here because oh my God, they came out of left field and I was happy whenever they popped up. This one was very popular in my household because I have a seven and five year old daughter. And uh, yeah, I can't believe this is three and a half hours and I know I'm gonna watch it at least four more times. I'm, I don't hate Taylor Swift. I don't like Taylor Swift. It's just there and this is just a concert movie. 99 Homes had the makings of being a classic, but the last 15 minutes totally ruins that. The third act, I was not a fan of whatsoever, but Michael Shannon and Andrew Garfield had spectacular performances here. I also was able to watch the Netflix doc, The Greatest Night in Pop, talking about the song, We Are the World, and how it got made, and how all of these celebrities ended up in the same room at the same time. Pretty interesting stuff. I'm also ranking every movie that I see this year that comes out this year. Greatest Night in Pop was number two, Snack Shack was number three so far. And last but not least, here's True Lies. I'm so happy I'm able to watch this in high def in 4K. The transfer is a little weird, but there are some moments of greatness in here. And the movie is as solid as just as it ever was. I'm very happy that more people are actually going to be able to see the Schwarzenegger classic.